the back of a van. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing I've ever brought in my whole life is a violation of a violation of you know, we'll make sure you, you get out of here at the end of the day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, this is what I want you to know, okay? It's hard to say. Like, I went to the hippie fest one time and, like, woke up in the woods all freaking out. Somebody dosed me, so. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a little bit more about Strange. Um, what's, what's she doing? What's her story? Ah. Well. As you're an officer of the law, she does pretty much anything she can get her hands on. Pretty much anything she can get her hands on. I didn't get your name, honey. Detective Nicole. Nicole. And David. Alright. Um, so, um, how, how did you get up here today? Tony. Tony Rocher? Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, I guess when you leave, you're gonna tell Tony gonna take you home or do we yeah. need to get you right home? Or, okay, okay. Yeah. Alright, I just wanna make sure that you're, you're covered. I don't want any convenience yet anyway, okay? okay. Um, so, we just, uh, alright. And do you work anywhere? No work. Okay. Obviously, Anthony works at the Hello House, right? Okay. Okay. So, um, let me ask you this question: Do you have you um, do you know uh, call it Kato? Have you ever heard that name before? Oh, Kato. I know it's a <laughs> Okay. No. no I okay. Don't think much. <laughs> All right. Um. Is it like a nickname or something? Yeah, yeah, it's a nickname. How about, um, what were those names? Brandon Hill? I don't know, Brandon. How about the, um... Jason. Jason's? Yes. You do know Jason, okay. How do you know Jason? Um, I know they're his parents. Um, and when I was married to the ex, mm -hmm. um, he was good friends with them. Okay. And that's how I met them, and then their daughter, Sarah, which I guess would be his sister, um, mm -hmm. I know her too. Okay. How about the uh, Will, Will, you know him? Maybe a William? Will, I know William. got like 110,000 of them, and like a really close friend of mine, Darius, mm -hmm. um, she's a kid, and I used to also care for her, so. Okay. Don't know if you know him or not, you might. You know the name, but you don't know if you know exactly. Will or not. Okay. You ever hang out with Jason or? The last time I seen Jason mm -hmm. was before he had went to jail. Um, okay. And I think he was with that girl, Linda Lou or something like that. And um, gosh, that's been over a year ago. I seen okay. him before he went in. And I remember, um, cause I had taken, picked up their daughter, Sarah. And she was coming over to visit my daughter, and that's when Jason was telling me that he might be getting locked up, blah, blah, blah. And okay. I think that was the last time I'm seeing him. Okay. All right. But you hadn't seen any of these guys in the last week or so? Or okay. that you don't hang out with them regularly or nothing like that? I last. stay at home. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I, well, no, I'm sorry. I do hang out with my mother who lives like five minutes from my house. Okay. All right. Um, do you have any kids? Yes. Um, how, how old are they? Just they range in age from 13 to 21. Okay. You don't have a Rebecca daughter, do you, by chance? No. No? Okay. okay. Um, I mean, my daughter, well, my daughter might, the Jason C out mm -hmm. of all the names you listed off, mm -hmm. I mean, she might know, because she talks to his sister. Um, they grew up together. Yeah. Her and Sarah did, um, and she talks to her more often than not. I speak to her when she'll call the house and you know ask to speak to my daughter, mm -hmm. so forth and so on. But that's about it. What's your daughter's name? Say? Your Streamy, S T R A M Y. Okay. How old is she? Twenty-one. She's twenty-one. Okay. Um, 
Does she have any, as far as you know, I'm just going to ask this because this is a no, case right. we're working on is a, is a drug related case. Does she have any drug issues that you know of? Or, okay. um, how about you, any past drug history? Or, you know? um, she went to, I don't know the technical term for it, mm -hmm. but her child's father made allegations against her that she was on all these kind of drugs and stuff like that, and she had to go through the Department of Children and Families, and she took a urine test, and she did test positive at one time for marijuana, and um, she basically was honest with them. She was like, hey, yes, I smoked marijuana, I was at a party, the baby was with his dad, blah, blah, and they gave her six weeks to come back or something like that to retest again. She was clean, and they didn't do anything with it. Okay. So, I mean, other than that, no. She still lives at home, so I'm pretty up in her yeah. junk. <laughs> um, were, you, uh, were you at home last night? Yeah. All night? No. <laughs> okay. Where? I went to my mom's to get ice and sugar. Where'd your mom live? Close by? Out there? Yeah, she lives right there on um, West Shore Road okay. area. All right. um, what's that phone number? 30. So, if you recognize the phone number. Um, four nine three. That used to be my old phone number that somebody stole. My stole. I, want to say, I think so. My daughter has. It was um one of those prepaid phones, and I think that's the number. I'm almost a hundred percent sure that's the number. I don't because it's been, gosh, it's been like almost three years ago. Um, and I let her use my. It was like one of those little to go phones, mm -hmm. and she was ever visiting that little girl, Sarah when she lived at College Arms, and they had walked to the store and somebody stole the phone. And I think that's my old phone number. I, I'm almost 100% sure that it was like 5393, something like that. Okay. What about a 302741? Maybe a household? What's the last one? 2741. I see, I don't know any. I need three phones. No. Have they finally found that phone? That would be nice to know. Well, no. <laughs> no. It's just a number that came up. And, and by now, it's probably been reassigned. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, well, that's what I, it, it's the last time I tried to call. It's been a long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, that sucks. They probably gave the number to somebody else. Well, I found out who owned it. The boy had, I, it, was a, it was a black boy over at College Arms. We found out who stole it from her, and his name's like Terrell or something. He was like, no, this was my phone. And I was like, no, it's my phone. I couldn't prove it. So right. Right. it was one of those kind of things. He showed, she said, and I said, well, I hope when that money runs out that you, you can just put the money back on it because, yeah, it's whatever. I was like, but I got that phone for my daughter, so she would always have a way to contact me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, can I ask you a question? Sure. How does my name come up in reference to this? Is somebody throwing my well, name no, out no, there? No, 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 no. Nobody's throwing your name out at all. What what happened was is that we've gotten, in a case that we're working, we've gotten some phone numbers that were called. And when mm -hmm. we look in the system and those phone numbers, your name pops mm -hmm. up. Like, well, if, if it, it does any help, our old house mm -hmm. number, I know that it's 5068, if that comes in handy for you guys or whatever. And I mean, because whenever that name Jason Bobby comes up, I know that boy's been out a lot of trouble and I do not like my name associated with that kid. Okay. I mean, yes, I did know him growing up, but that doesn't mean I want him coming to my house with my children there either. You know what I'm saying? So. All right. Um, do you want to give us just a second little step out? I, got, I want to talk to her about something real quick and we'll be right back. Okay. Do you need me to come back in here or do you want me to go back uh, you, If you don't mind, you can just stay right here for just a minute. If you don't mind. Or you can go outside if you like. I mean, you're free to leave, obviously, if you need to or whatever. But I just want to ask her one quick question and we'll come right back. Oh, I don't care. I'll wait on you then. Okay. All right. <laughs> just... All
When did you say that that phone was stolen again? The, the, I want to say it. That's the correct number. Um, God, it's been whenever Sarah lived in college terms. And I'm going to say it's probably been, I know, at least three years, at least, if that's the correct phone number. I don't want to say that was what it was. It was I think it was like nine. It was like fifty four ninety three or mm-hmm. fifty three ninety four, something like that. Okay. Um, I can ask my daughter to see if she remembers the number. But mm-hmm. I want to say that's a. Okay. But I can't. Be. All right. And um, just another question for you, if you don't mind. Mm-hmm. Do you get any kind of? Um, Food assistance, like from DCF, like food card, food stamps, anything like that. I right now I have Medicaid yep. for okay. my son, mm-hmm. um, and that's it right now. Okay, so you don't get the food stamp card or any of that kind of. No, I assistance. did. Yeah. Um, How long ago did you stop getting that? I don't mind this is a crime circus presentation. Just roughly. Roughly, like yeah. last year. Or last year. Ish. Um, and then while well, I'm in the process of, I reapplied again um, to get Medicaid coverage for myself because I have to have a surgery done. Okay. And it's, I don't know if I'm getting it yet or not. I don't know until, of course, I call me. <laughs> okay. What about Anthony? Does he have any? Or do y'all, I mean, do y'all have separate things? Or does he get any food stamp assistance or anything? No. He no. Apl- I know he applied for it one time. Okay. I think also before I even met him or something like that, but you know, he has no insurance or anything like that. And I basically, well, I, because I can't go on, because we're not legally married or anything like that, that's why I try to cover my own insurance. Okay. That kind of thing. If it would happen, it would be nice to have insurance. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, You want to give me one more second? We'll step back out again. Is that okay? okay? I just want to make sure that you're comfortable. I mean, I don't want you to feel like you have to stay here. I mean, we're just we're in the middle of doing this interview, but I just gotta keep checking a couple of facts coming back. So, okay, right, I'll be right back. Okay. your question because I'm sure you're dying to know what the heck's going on, right? Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, well, have you seen on the news we're working the homicide that happened this morning, early this morning? Have you seen that on the news yet? Okay. Um, we've got a local gentleman He um, uh, goes by the name Cato. Um, he was killed this morning. And um, his uh, his um, phone that we got, one of the numbers that came up in it was the 5493 is the number that I just called him. Okay. So when we run that number through the system, it pops up, you know, I guess from when it used to belong to you. Okay. So do you know him at all? Have you heard anything about that? Do you have, you know, any knowledge? Of- I can't be watching crime is I'm addicted to investigation discovery. Okay. <laughs> I have right. watched the news. I don't because I can't stand it. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> um, do you have any past in the drug world at all? Any past history at all that? You know, we're just trying to connect all the dots here. So. I tried pop one time. Okay. And I didn't want it. But that was it. How long ago was that? Right after I divorced. It's been um, seven, eight years ago. Okay. <laughs> um, did you have a run in a couple of years ago? Um, you, anyone talking about a 
possession of some like empty bags or something or me yeah, yeah not you okay <laughs> it might be a different might be everybody different Rebecca. okay it better be <laughs> <laughs> i think that one the worst thing i've ever brought in my whole life is mm -hmm. and I, this is a true story and if i wasn't there and i didn't have to go in front of people to testify on my own behalf but i got a violation of improper use of a motor vehicle because my own car ran me over and put me in the hospital. Your my own? car was defaulty and the linkage popped out, oh blah, 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 and I was trying to fix myself, blah, 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 would run me over and damage school property. Mm -hmm. And I guess it bumped into another car and run me over and a woman wanted to press charges because she said I hit and run. No, I was at the hospital and passed. So, yeah, that's the only, and a couple of, uh, I think, a seatbelt ticket, but other than that, no one knows what's wrong. You ever been, ever been arrested at all? Nothing? No. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm going to go through <sighs> Okay. I'm not trying to read it. Um, if you don't mind, just so we can, because apparently there's more than one Rebecca, um, what's that's, your, what's your social thing. security number? Two, well, I mean, get that through. I don't um, like that. That I don't like giving out. I don't know. Uh, how about the last one? Can you give me so it's like. Like I was telling Tammy, I mean, mm -hmm. we're pretty law-abiding citizens. Yeah. I'm, you know what I'm saying? If you have any more questions, um, just let me know. Come out of the house or okay. whatever, whatever. Um, right. Ask him for the phone number out there. He memorized it because he called it more than I do. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like, I can have my daughter call you guys because, like I said, she knows the Jasons. Okay. But I don't think she's on a personal level with him anymore because ever since he went down that path mm -hmm. pretty much all the people that were close to him kind of stepped away because they seen that he wasn't doing too good in life where is she at right now she's still around there or is she yeah, she's at my house right she's now. at your house okay. yes sir. um okay we'll uh we'll maybe we'll maybe do that it, i'll just know. i'll call you and see what, you know, what we need to get um, her and i'm gonna try and buy room one day this week if, okay okay um, um like. do you uh so you were home last night other than when you went to your mom's? Yeah, I went to, it was fun. Who was there with you? It, it, was, it was about, um, we were on the phone and I realized I ran out of ice and sugar and we were just joking about how neighbors all the time come over and borrow crap from me. And I was like, mm -hmm. well, guess what? I don't have any sugar ice. So it was, I think it was like, I don't know, 11, 30, 12 o'clock-ish in that area that I ran down there and got okay. that. And what's her name? Mom? Yeah. Marion. How do you spell Mary? Mary Ann? M O M. <laughs> well. <laughs> and, oh, God. Is it Mary Ann or Mary Ann? Mary, Mary, Mary Ann. Mary Ann. Uh, so I guess it would be M A R I O N. Okay. She's my mom. I don't know these things. Yeah. Okay. Where does she live? Um, I don't know the number. It's um, Elaine. Lane. So literally right there about where you Yeah, it's Aggie Lane off of Water Road. Right. I don't yeah. know the number number. If we need it, I can get it. No, it's okay. I can probably find it. Do you have a phone number for her? Or? D yeah, but I'm not giving it to you because that's my mommy. Okay. I can tell her to call you if you guys want okay. to talk to her. Fair enough. Well, no, I don't know if we need to or not. I'm just trying to get as right. much information as I can. So if people get around my mommy, I just want to beat them off. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anybody else at the house with you last night while you were home? Your daughter or anybody like that? My, well, my daughter came right at the time. Yeah, she was there right, give or yeah, right about the time she came back. Right when I was going down to mom's. Right. So she, was telling, she called me and told me she was on the way home. Right about the same time. Okay. So that was right about 11, 30, 12? I'm going to say it was like... Um, between like 11, 30 and 12 ish. Okay. okay. All right. I really think that's all the questions I got. It's so sad though. Yeah, it is. I mean, it is, but you know. I don't know who it is, but that's sad. Anytime we have anything that pops up, we got to talk to everybody. Right. And so, I mean, yeah. I would want y'all to do the same if it was for me. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's just weird how, like, I guess the chain of events, like, lead you up to a certain person. Mm -hmm. It's like, because I don't even know who this person is. Yeah. But it's like, when you have to go, wow, that's... Yeah. Scary, huh? <laughs> if, if, my, if my mom had asked, like, whereabouts was the... Um, it was right here in town. It was on the uh, avenue right there. You that's know where that is? Right behind the, the florist right there. 
you know where back forward is. Yes. The fourth place is kind of right in that area. Right there. So. Okay. I hope you guys turn the bad guy. Oh, me too. Me too. Me too. I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, if there's anything else you can do, just like I said, sometimes I don't do the driving thing, especially because the eyesight's going bad, mm -hmm. really bad. So just like, at least let me know ahead of time, because that way if I do need to get a ride, I can. Sure. But sure. if not, I mean, you're more than welcome to come out with that. Okay. okay. Yeah, and if we need to, I will do that, but I really don't think I'll need to. So it's okay. But if I hear anything, I'll let y'all know. Okay. You, yeah, got, just, you got a card? Yeah, let me get one off my desk for you. Okay. I think I ran out of it. How long is this journey going to be? Uh, hello, how you doing? Stream me, right? Yes. Hey. My name is uh, David Detective here at Shirts Office. Okay. Um, I uh, just want did they tell you why you want to come down here? Okay. Tell them there's a computer right now. All right. All right. Well, no, I'll tell I'll explain everything, okay? okay? I just have a couple of questions for you. Um, and you, they didn't like tell you you have to come, right? I mean, you're free, you're here freely. They didn't like arrest you or nothing, right? No. Okay, and we'll get you a ride home, obviously, when, when, yeah. when we're done. I'll talking just to try you, to get hold of my mom. You're, well, I mean, we'll, we'll take care of you. We'll, whatever, whatever works. I mean, whatever works for you. You know, we'll make sure you, you get out of here at the end of the day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, um, let me, um, let me ask you who, well, first of all, let me get all your information. What's your last name? All right, how do you spell streaming? S-T-R-E-A-M-Y. A-M-Y, okay. This is a crime circus presentation. Um, what's your birthday, streaming? July 29th, 1992. 92? Mm-hmm. Okay. So does that make it 21? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what's your address? <sighs> you live in Yeah, no. on the Pomona. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what that address. Oh. That's all right, I got it. Yeah, your mom was just here, and we thought she'd be still be here whenever you got here, but they just left as you were playing. But we'll we'll get all you guys back together again, no problem. <laughs> um, just a little miscommunication. Um, do you have a phone? Uh, I have one, but it's like it's just like Wi-Fi. I run it off Wi-Fi. Okay. I don't have like minutes on or anything. Okay. Do you use any of those apps that where you get to make a phone call or anything, or mm, like do you have a phone no. number, any kind of number? Okay. What kind of um, um, Facebook. In Facebook? Okay. So what kind of phone do you have? It's like a little... HTC Evo. Okay, so it's an Android. Yeah. But it doesn't have any minutes, so you just use it more of a... As a little tablet yeah. versus anything like else. Like Facebook, Netflix, and stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and that doesn't have a phone number at all? No. I mean, it might have previously. Yeah. But, like, the previous owner might have had it. All right. Um, What's your... I guess you have a boyfriend, right? What's his yeah, name? Yeah, uh, Alex. What's it? What's Alex's last name? Gross. What is it again? Gross. How do you, you know, spell it? I think it has two C's. R I O O I S. R I. R I O O I S. L O I S. L O I S. Okay. Okay. Um, how old is he? You know his birthday? I don't know his birthday. How old is he? Twenty-three. Right. And where does he live? You know, mm. you ever been to his house? Sure, yeah. in his house, right? Uh, does he have a phone number? Yeah, but uh, can I ask why you need it? I'm sorry? Why do you need it? I was just trying to decide if I would reach out for him. I mean, okay, it's just no big deal. Yeah, uh -huh. 983, 8308. I know, but he, I don't know if he wants to give me his number. Well, that's okay. I, I'm not going to abuse it, okay? Okay. Uh, what was the last one? 8308. 8308. Let me um ask you if you don't mind. Last night, where were you at last night? Were you with Alex or? Yeah, I've been with him since Thursday when he got off work. Okay. And we were at his house, and then we went back to my house to watch the movies, and he stayed right with me. And then this he, was last night. Yeah. Okay. And he stayed right with me, and then he went to work today. Okay, I'm just saying. Let me write all that down. Um. So I've been with him since. What time last night did you go over to your house? Um, I want to say it's anywhere between 1 30, 2 30 ish, somewhere between that time. In the afternoon? Or no, at night. Morning? It was at oh, night, yeah. That's a, okay. Um, OK. 
Okay. Um, did y'all, what time did y'all leave his house? Did y'all leave his house and go straight there? Yeah, like I was about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes to get to my mom's house from his. Okay. Y'all didn't make any side trips anywhere, no stops, no drink from a kangaroo, nothing. Maybe. It's hard to say. I don't think so. I don't think so. You think you went straight there? I'm pretty sure you did. Oh, um, you said y'all went there to watch movies? Mm -hmm. What movies did you watch? Uh, Rise of the Lichens. Okay. Alright, and that was, you watched that right after you got there? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what did you do Well, we that? took a shower and then we watched the movie. Okay. And then we went to sleep. Then you went to sleep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right, so you went over to his house, or he came and got you, and you've been with him since Thursday. Since, mm -hmm. And then this morning at one thirty, two o'clock in the morning, you decided to go to your house and watch a movie, so you all loaded up went to your house. Well, he doesn't have a TV or anything at his house, so... Okay. So um, really nothing to do over there. Before one thirty, before y'all left, and were we all at his house, or were we all out on, no, on the town, just or were we all at? his house. Yeah, we're his house? Okay. All right. Um... Who else was anybody else come by? Anybody else hanging out with y'all? Mm, let's see. Was it? It was Thursday or Friday. Our friends Jessica and Sarah came by, and they brought a friend. I'm not sure of his name. Okay, Sarah. Sarah. Well, I think her. I think it's. All right. Who's Jessica? What's her last name? Well. I'm not sure. Okay. All right. And that was Thursday or Friday? Yes. I'm, I think I want to say it was Friday because, <laughs> yeah, I had to have been because I, Alex got off work late that night and he stayed the night with me and then we went to his house Friday and then. Okay. All right. Um, All right. Anybody else come over after that? How long did they stay? Just a little while or? Mm, about three over? hours maybe, okay. if that's the most that they were that long. Okay. And nobody else came over after that? So what did you guys do at his house if we didn't have a TV or anything? It was kind of well, we had out. a water balloon fight. Mm -hmm. We had a cake fight. Um, hung out, you know, cuddled and stuff, because I don't really get to see him much during the week. Okay. Where's he work? Uh, it's like Kate. It's like a shipping company for like food and stuff. Okay. Like a factory, yeah. shipping factory. So does he drive a truck or is he work in a warehouse? Or? No, he works in a warehouse. Works in a warehouse. Okay. 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 <laughs> um, so, um, so when's the last time you, um, let me just ask you this, okay? And this is the part I need to be honest with you. Okay. okay. When's the last time you used any? I haven't done anything like that in a long time. Okay. Because it made me sick. Okay. When's the last time you did? It's hard to say. Is okay. that like last year sometime? Okay. Uh, do you do anything else? I smoke cigarettes. I drink. Well, you're allowed to smoke recreation. Yeah. And listen, time. this is what I want you to know, okay? <laughs> I'm not drug police, I don't care about it. Okay. okay. This it just segues into what I'm getting at, okay? And I'll explain everything as we go. Okay. okay. I'm just, I'm trying to get some I'm trying to get some basic facts here before I you know, before we go any further, okay? Um so you have it since last year. What were you using last year? What did you try? Mm, I've like a few things. Maybe. <laughs> like what? Uh I don't want to, like, I don't... Listen, I'm not going to get you in trouble. Okay. I, I can't, listen, I can't make a case on you. You don't have any case on you, okay? No. <laughs> I, I can't make a case on you, okay? I'm just trying to get some history from you, and this is the part I need you to be really honest with okay. me, okay? Okay, um... um what? Uh, what? Okay. When was the last time you used any of those? Last year, way, like, around, way before summertime, like, that okay. early part of the year. So almost a year ago. Yeah. What'd you do to get clean? Just... I stopped. It was making stopped. me sick. I okay. couldn't... Alright. Um... 
let me ask you this. Have you ever heard the name? It's a street name, Cato. Where did you get the yeah. names from back then? <sighs> well, the parents were like my friends, like parents. Okay. Kind of. So they would take them. Yeah. You, did you, I mean, did you buy them from somebody or did you, mm, you know, just kind of share them? Not the, not the, I never really bought them all either. It's just like people had it on them. Mm -hmm. And okay. I tried it, like, at parties. And you were stuff. just in the place where it yeah. was? Okay. So you didn't have, like, a dealer that you would call? No, not me personally. All okay. All right. Um, let me ask you... Let me back up a couple of pages here. Um, ask you if you recognize a phone number. Okay. I've had a few phone numbers, so... <laughs> Yeah. Um. Five, four, nine, three. That didn't use to be your number a couple of years ago. This is a crime circus presentation. Um. Mom was telling me, your mom was telling me she thought it was maybe your old number, a phone that you had stolen at College Arms or something? I had like a little track phone, but I didn't really use it too much because it didn't have minutes on it very often. You don't remember what the number was mm -hmm. for that? Yeah. Okay. Because I didn't, I didn't have it for very long. A lot of stuff got taken from there, so. Okay. Um, how about 02741? What was it again? 2741? No. I don't think so. Not at all? Okay. Is that one of my other numbers? Or? No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's some numbers that we've gotten through this and oh, I'm just trying okay. to see who we're anything like that. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Um, did your mom and everybody know about your past drug abuse or? You um, I'm not going to tell Okay, you. my okay. mom like knows I did like pills at one point because she is like part of the reason why like I'm okay now, but mm -hmm. not demolished. I don't think she does that. What about your mom? You ever seen her use anything? Or? No. No? I no. Don't know. Okay. All right. So last night you were with Alex mm -hmm. and y'all left between one thirty and 2 and drove straight to your house. Y'all then watched Rise of the Lichens and or you took a shower, you watched Rise of the Lichens, and then you went to bed. Okay. What time did you wake up today? Oh, 11, I want to say. Must be nice. <laughs> what time did Alex leave? You said he went to work? Yeah, he left about oh. 1 20. This afternoon? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Right. So he was there with you all day? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let me throw some names by you and see if you recognize it. Okay. All right. Jason. Well, that's, that's Sarah's, Sarah's brother. Yeah. Um, how about Brandon? Who? Brandon. Um, we'll go. Yeah. Never heard of any of these people? I mean, the last name sounds familiar, but not Will. Like, I knew an older lady, like, I met them, but I don't think they're of any relation. Chris. Okay. I knew her family. <clears throat> when you, um, go around everywhere, when you drive or do whatever, do you drive? No. You don't drive That's why I don't drive. <laughs> okay. I don't have a license. Um, so how do you get around? Well, my mom, my boyfriend. Okay. You just get, get drives with them wherever you need to go. Okay. Mom's or your grandma's actually that little PT cruiser. Mm -hmm. You never took that anywhere, never drive that? Never? I don't drive. Okay, well, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just asking, okay? But yeah, I've rode in it before plenty of times. Okay, well, sure you have. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to think. We got a lot, a lot going on up here, okay? Um, So you were basically with Alex from Thursday until this afternoon. Mm -hmm. He was off from work, probably, I guess, Friday and Saturday. Yeah, because he, get, he gets off really late, like about 2 to 3 in the morning, mm -hmm. so. All right. So that, did he come get you then, Thursday? No, he stayed, like, that little part of Friday morning. Well, you could say it was Friday because it's, mm -hmm. like, 3 o'clock in the morning. Right. Woke up, and then we went to his house, and, and Sarah and Jessica and whoever that person was came by. What is his name? They call him Hawkeye because he looks like the guy from the Avengers, but I don't know his real name. But okay. they came by. 
Uh, All right. So Sarah, Jessica, and Hawkeye. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was okay. That's okay. <laughs> it just sounds so funny. <laughs> Okay. That is what it is. <laughs> um, okay, so you were hanging out with anybody else last night? No. Just you and Alex? Okay. What about your mom? Did you interact with her at the house? Or? Well, yeah, I came in and said hey to her and stuff. At what time when you first got there? Yeah. Okay. And what was she doing? She was so She was still. laying in her bed, watching TV, talking on okay. the phone. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, do you mind hanging out for just half a second? Let me step out and just okay. clarify a couple of things. I'll be right back. And I promise so, you, we're going to uh, explain everything. Okay. I was about to ask, so what is going on yeah, here? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll explain everything. Okay. Just if you don't mind, I'm gonna step out just half a second. I'll let okay. the door open. I mean, you're free to go, obviously, but if you don't mind, then you know. I'll, I'll wait here, but um, could somebody like get hold of my mom to let her know that yeah, you had wait. That's already been done. Yeah. Okay, it's, cool. it's, while you were in here, that's already been done by the other detectives. Okay. okay I'll be right back. Okay. This open for a bit, okay. okay. Um, just a couple more quick questions for you. Um, do you get any kind of? Do you have any kids? Do you have a kid? Okay, that's what I thought your mom said. Um, do you get any kind of food stamp help? Anything? Okay. Um, how long have you been getting that? Um. It's been off and on since I want to say I was pregnant with him. It's been off and on. So, five years maybe? Okay. All right. Um, so, <clears throat> how, uh, how old is your daughter? Is it a daughter? Yeah, he's in the side. Him, okay. How old is he? He is four. He just turned four. He's four? Okay. So you've had it all phone since then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, did you ever uh, use the food stamp cards to buy any drugs back then or anything mm -hmm. like that at all? Okay. <laughs> all right, yeah. Um, like I said, I never really bought them. Yeah, they were yeah I know, I know. But, you know, I'm just covering the bases. Um, okay, well, this is this is what all played out, okay? This, okay. Is, this is why you're sitting in this room right now, okay? Um, the... Uh, I'm sure you, I don't know if you've seen the news or not, but we had a, um, a shooting last night um, where a gentleman was killed. Um, uh, it was by Cato. Oh, no, her. Yeah. I, I, you were I, scaring me for yeah, a second, no, like no, I knew somebody. No, 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 oh, no. thank goodness. <laughs> um, and in his phone, we found um, some phone numbers. Mm -hmm. Obviously, people he had just contacted right before he got shot. And one of the phone numbers was that four number. Was mine. Um, and when we ran that number in our system, it came back to, um, I guess it came back to your mom's name, came back under Rebecca's oh, name. Wow. Um, but that was obviously a couple of years ago. So, um, you know, right now we're working on having to do, you know, having to figure out everything that we got. And, you know, so that's, that's how you guys came to be involved in this right now. Okay. Okay. Um, and, uh, then here we are, you know, so, you know, I, I don't, you know, I don't think that, you know, so it's, oh, wow. it's just one of those things. It's, it's probably going to be a coincidence, but we have to cover all the bases. Right. Okay. Um, so that's why you're sitting here right now. Okay. okay. Um, and, uh, you know, I appreciate you coming in and talking to me. It, it really helps us try to eliminate people and try to figure out what, what's going on. Okay. I know that, um, you know, telephone company, they reassign phone numbers, you know, so it's highly mm -hmm. likely that somebody else has got that phone number right now. But, uh, I um, wish I could, I don't even know who could begin to think who could have taken it. Yeah, well, and it, if it was shut off and it wasn't paid way back then, then, you know, the telephone company's going to reassign the number. So, True. you know what I'm saying? It, it, who knows who, who took it? It's probably not even the one who still got the phone number, you know, so, okay. Um, is there anything else you can think of that you might know? Have you heard or? Um, um, <laughs> what was the name again that you said? Uh, How old was he? He's uh, born in 85, so that makes him what? Uh, he's almost 30. He's like 28. Mm. Um, they, call, they call him Cato. 
is his name. I've never. So, and and I know, like I said, I know you were you were mildly in the drug game, right? Because mm -hmm. um, I've heard that from some people that have told me. Okay. Um, people have told you. Well, and, you know. <laughs> listen, we kind of know. Oh, what, no, you know okay. We kind of know. We kind of know what we are. Okay? <laughs> um, so I know you were mildly involved in it, and that's why I wanted to ask you about all that. Okay. Um, and uh, I also know that that food stamp cards are often used to buy drugs and right. stuff. Right. You, know, you know what I'm saying? So. I don't um, misuse that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and this was, you know, do you um, you have your card with you? You keep it with you? Well, not no. It's at the house. The whole wallet is right. I right. Mean, I didn't mean like with you. Right <laughs> yeah. Now. You, you know where it's at. You yeah, keep track of it. Definitely. Well, I've just... lost it a few times. Like I'm really bad about misplacing it. But okay. then I'll end up finding it after I cancel it, which really sucks. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, do you have any other questions or? Um, just I don't know what. I'm not. Sh I'm still not sure. Like, do you need anything else? Like, any more questions for me? No, no, I don't think so. I just want to make sure you knew what was going okay, on. Okay. What about after this? Like. What do you mean? Like, am I gonna have to talk to you again? Yeah. Or? Probably not. Okay. Probably not. I mean, it's just one of those things we. We got names and we get phone numbers and we, we run it and we find names right. and we just we have to talk to those people and find out where they were, what they were doing, who they were with, you know, the whole story. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm, you've seen it on TV a thousand times, right? I know you've Kinda. seen it. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we, we have to just follow up all the leads, okay? And, uh, you know, so that's where we are right now. Okay, we're just following leads, trying to figure out who was where and who may have been around town when this happened, okay? So... <clears throat> Um, you said that, I mean, we'll be happy to give you a ride home, or did you say you want to call your mom? Yeah, I definitely you, would. You'd rather call your yeah. mom? Okay. All right. Well, if you want, come on out here. Okay. I'll get you a phone. We can, uh, we can let you call your mom. And, uh, straight ahead. Yep. Right. There you go. So this is your Cheers. How you doing, man? Not so good. Do I know you? Possibly. Where'd you go to school? Uh, yeah, that's where I know you. Yep. I used to remember I worked there. Yeah, several years ago. They sent me out there a lot. Um, okay, how did how did you get here today? Did you ride with? Yeah, I was playing Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Do um, are they gonna give you a ride home? Do I need to get you a ride home? Oh no, they're gonna give me a ride. Okay. Home. All right. I just want to make sure. They'll probably end up taking me to their house and make me work out the save or something. All right. I do not remember, man. What's your date of birth, Wilson? Four, twelve, ninety. Ninety. Okay. Where, where do you live at? Green Drive. Right here in Austin? Yep. Nice little house. Beautiful pit bull in the back. That's my okay. Do you have a phone number? Cell phone uh, we just got the house number changed. Okay. I have no idea what it is. It was uh, 1056 for like 20 years. And she changed it, so I'm lost. Who changed it? My grandmother did. Okay. I'm going to tell right now. You have any idea what it is at all? No, like not at all. All right. Do you know who the who you guys have the house phone through? Is it? No, I mean what what company? Oh uh, no. Uh, I know it's not Comcast. It's one. It's an internet company that provides phone as well, but it's not Comcast. That's what it was forever. Okay. All right. All right. This is a crime circus presentation. But I'm there every day. Okay. All right. How are you wrapped up with uh, Tony and Rebecca? Every Sunday uh -huh. and Tuesday, I go over to his house to play Dungeons and Dragons, and then on okay. Tuesdays we go out to Interlock and play with an old lady that's crippled. Okay. Can't go anywhere. So how'd you wind up with him today? Just this Sunday. To, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Sometimes they kidnap me to do manual labor because they're old. <laughs> they kidnap you. Yeah. Like, sure. They're like, hey, you want to come over and hang out with the kids? Like, three days later, I'm like, you guys gonna take me home, man? <laughs> they're like, no, we need you to dig that ditch. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. All right. Um, and you don't have a cell phone or anything? No. no. I, okay. They cause brain tumors. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So, uh, where, um, yesterday? Where were you at yesterday, last night? Battle Pirates. Facebook. Okay. So at your house or? Yeah, my house. Okay. You were there all day? And all night. All right. Who was there with you? My friend DJ. 
Who's the, what's his name? Dennis. He was the seven foot kid. Real big guy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he was the seven foot kid. Yeah. <laughs> big old DJ. Yeah. Big as a horse, yeah. quiet as a mouse. <laughs> Is he still that way? No, no. He's no. actually, uh, he's been living with me, so he's a lot more hyped up and active. No, and, uh, you, yeah, you're not hyped up. He's, he's lost a lot of weight. Good I am hyped up. If I, if I would have gotten sleep last night, I'd be talking it up by now. So he lives there with you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Who else was there? See when? My grandma and my mom is down from Columbia, Missouri, Jeff Early. All right. What's your grandma's name? Linda. You spell that for me? I wish I could. Okay. And what's your mom's name? Marcy. Okay. I do believe she got it changed back to her maiden name. She's been married like so many times. Okay. Anyone else over there hanging out last night? Mm -hmm. Do you know a uh, Jason? Uh, uh, I know a bunch of Jasons. I don't know they associate people with their last names. Okay. How about uh, Brandon? No, they don't sound familiar. Um, Will. Yeah, I think I know Will. Okay. Is, that a, is that a white dude? Yeah, they all are. He's about, about a little bit taller than me, skinny. I honestly don't know. Uh, same thing. Okay. How do you know him? It's cool. His last name had God in it, and he was very cocky. So, okay. I was a cocky person. We walked heads a few times. You weren't cocky in school. What's wrong with you? I was, man. That's why I got sent to you. That's why you sat in my office all the day on time. <laughs> Wait, we were um, in here because somebody was talking smack. <laughs> all right. Teacher oh. told me to make a choice, so I walked out the room. Yeah, well, I remember you doing that all the day on time. Um, it's just my well, only defense mechanism my mom taught me. She's like, you said about snap, just walk away. Yep. Yep. So, um, okay. How about um, streaming? Rebecca Just Jamie? Yeah. Uh, I'm sure you know her, right? I mean, I'm sure. Yeah. Like, we kind of hang her. out back and forth. Okay. But she kind of hates me by now. Okay. Because she's having trouble in her relationships. And we have no relation, relation okay. like that. Mm -hmm. But every time she's in a relationship, I always get drawn into it somehow. And it's always drama. And when she's not in a relationship, we're like best friends. And then when she is, she like doesn't know me. And then when it goes bad, she hates me. And it's like, yep. why? Why is such a confused little girl? <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Like I used to be good friends with her, but we don't really hang out anymore. She's dating. Yeah. Does she? When you go out to the house, to Tony's house to play, yeah. Is she usually there? Or is she usually gone? Uh, it's, it's fifty fifty. Like I didn't know she was there this time until after being there for like four hours, and then she finally came out of the room. With the dude she was with. How's she get around? Have you ever seen her come and go? Uh, Alex, usually. Her okay. boy, friend. I, I guess Do you know what Alex drives? He drives a blue truck. I don't know the make and model. Okay. That's a piece of crap. All right. He just he comes and goes and picks her up and they go yeah. off for a little while. And, and they go yeah. and come back random, randomly. So last night you were at your house, though. You weren't down there with... Yeah, I was at my house. With Tony. You were there with DJ. And with mm -hmm. your mom and grandma. Yep. Right. And they can all. Yep. They can all say, say that everybody was there. Nobody left last night at all. Yep. I woke okay. up at five. Well, I didn't go to sleep. But I woke DJ up at five o'clock this morning and was like, Get your fat ass up, man. Go play TNT. He's like, oh, I'm too tired. I'm like, well, all right, well, come lock the door behind me. And then I left. Did you, um, did you see what was going on down the road this morning? Did you see anything? No, I ran uh, up towards Kmart and then I cut through the high school with the. You know that creek is? Yeah. There's like a little cut through in the woods. You can just go straight through. It saves much time. Okay. I heard somebody got shot though or yeah. something. Yeah. 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 Just a couple blocks from your house. And that's you didn't hear why anything. You see anything? Mimi's wanting to sell the house. No, I hear nothing. I stand in the room with dubstep music. And yeah. I got a computer screen about the size of that. Cool. Yeah, it actually hurts. I got like a back like this to look at it. Like, sit across the room with it. Yeah. Okay. It's actually just a smart TV. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, so what did you hear about who who got shot? I just seen some shit on Facebook. You know how that goes. Wildfire. It's like boom, boom, boom. 
and I talked to my friend Sarah, which I was talking to last night. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's like, Oh, you hear about the people getting shot? And I was like, No. She's like, It's all over Facebook. Somebody got killed. I was like, No, I'm counting. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, No, that stuff doesn't happen here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. yeah it sure it does. does. So uh, you said your friend Sarah. Yeah. Who's that? Yeah, that's some chick I'm trying to hook up with. Okay. She was, I guess y'all were just talking on Facebook last night. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So she just brought it up out of the blue. Yeah. On Facebook. She's like, "Hey, did you see that stuff on Facebook?" And I was like, "Yep." She's like, "No, no, no." I was like, "Yeah, it's probably just Facebook stuff." So what else on Facebook? Just out of curiosity. Uh, just a bunch of people talking about people getting shot or getting shot at. They said somebody that had died and there was ambulances and shit. I was like. Whatever. I get on Facebook for one purpose. Battle habits. I love that game. Okay. <laughs> I do every turn my chat off and everything. Like you gotta know to catch me on Facebook. You just gotta message me and be like, hey, are you there? And then just wait. Because now I'm never online. Never says I'm online. Keep my chat off. Okay. Okay. Um do you want to hang out for just one second? Let me step out and I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm Is that okay? Can you hit the door open? I'm really yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. No problem. Uh, uh, that good? Yep, that's good. <sighs> Breathe deeply now. Someone got shot. It's true. Scary. Let me ask you a little bit more about streaming. Um, is she still just doing like what's, what's she doing? What's her story? Ah, uh, well, as you're an officer of the law, she does pretty much anything she she can get her hands on. Okay. She doesn't do anything at home mm-hmm. because her mother will not allow it. Okay. But the dude she hangs out with, Alex, he is a Bad influence. As you could tell earlier from my tone, I don't like the guy. Mm-hmm. You know, he's he's a bad influence. He does. Okay. So, streaming, she does. Any anything like that? I don't know if she's done anything that extreme, but uh, you heard about that new. Yeah. That's one of her favorites. One of her favorites? Okay. This is a crime circus presentation. All right. And she told you all this, or she talks about it to you? Yeah. Okay. Like, she was all like, do you want to do so? And I was like, no. Like, I, I went to the hippie fest one time and, like, woke up in the woods all freaking out and shit because somebody dosed me, so, no. Nah. Went to the hippie fest? Yeah. You found the rainbow people? Hell yeah, I did. Oh. I got two vehicles out there somehow. Yeah. You, you got two vehicles out there. How'd you get two vehicles out there? Um, well, Would you I drive started, one, walk well, back and drive another one? I was going to say, I, I started off with a badass leather jacket. Mm-hmm. Which I traded for an even cooler big drum. And then I traded that drum for a big sheet of ass because somebody else wanted it for the vehicle. Mm-hmm. And then I got the vehicle and I drove that back and forth until it blew up. And I was like, well, blew up. Yeah. That was worth a jacket. How, how long did you hang out with the rainbow people? Months, man. I was out there, I think two years in a row, I went out there. And the first time I was out there for just a couple of days. Mm-hmm. And then the second time, when I went back out there, I went out there with like two 40 pound bags of ice. And like, they gave, I, like, I had people give me a bunch of necklaces, necklaces they mm-hmm. would cook and stuff with on it. Mm-hmm. That's what they named me. I was like, what that nice name? Cook. Cook. All right. That's all I like to do in the woods is just cook, feed people. What's that like, man? I mean, what's that like hanging out with all the people? It was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a weird experience. I can't really explain it. Like, half of it was good, and then half of it wasn't good. But then the half that was good, get the bad out your camp, you know? Like, yeah. 
So what's that like, man? Everybody running around naked, getting high, doing whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's what I say. There was one naked guy, but he didn't get high, he didn't drink, he didn't smoke. He was just naked. He was on a he was a, a Buddhist monk person on a vow of silence. He didn't speak. He uh, was not allowed to commit uh, t- uh, types of violence or anything like that. He's totally cool dude. You know. So well, you didn't like you didn't like run around naked and all like that. No, right? no. Playing on games. And well, like that. when I said I woke up in the woods, so this is an interesting story. I have jeans on. And Jinkos, and then I had a pair of swimming trunks under that, you know, shirt, and then a hoodie on top, you know, boots, nice hardcore socks, go all the way up to the knee, you know, I'm going in the woods. Mm-hmm. But anyway, somebody freaking dosed me, and I'm, after I'm halfway tripping out, and, you know, I'm all like, hey man, something's not right here. The, the fire turned into a lady and started dancing. What's, what's going on, people? And they're like, oh man, we dosed you. And I'm like, oh, don't let me leave camp. So yeah, like three days later, I wake up in the woods somewhere, and I have my pants, and my jacket, and my shoes. My swimming trunks, my shirt, and my socks are gone. So I'm thinking I went swimming at one time. You, you think? Yeah, I think. You hope, anyway. Yeah, I hope. Because right. there ain't a tell what else could happen, yeah, right? No idea. Being a blood pirate or something, <laughs> yeah. that's what happened, right? Yeah. For, All right, man. The, the, falling out the back of a van. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was awesome. Did DJ go with you? Yeah, yeah. Did you went with you too? Who else yeah. was with you? Uh, my mom and your mom was with you. Yeah, she's the one that told me about this place. They are uh, nicknamed DJ Ogre, of course. <coughs> oh yeah, he fits that bill. He got that day one. They're like, go get some firewood, and he, he literally came walking out of the woods with a tree on his shoulder, sure. <laughs> and just <laughs> and I'm walking behind him with some sticks and shit. I'm like, feel some heck right by now. So what did what'd your mom do out there, man? Did she get crazy? Uh, she likes to make beaded jewelry and stuff like that. And she's into a Native American side, so she likes beating on the drums and stuff like that. She likes beating on the drums? Yeah. Like, a lot of people get uh, confused. We have A Camp, and then we have Main Circle. Now, A Camp is mostly road dogs, is what we hippies call them. And it's people that just like to drink and party and get wasted and run roads, mm-hmm. you know. And be all lawless or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then we have Main Circle, which is just a bunch of happy people that hate the government for some reason. They just want to live dirty, I guess. Okay, fair enough. Lots of acid out there. Yep. Lots of weed. Yep. I, I remember was- my second year there, somebody gave me two and a half pounds of weed. Two and a half pounds? Two and a half pounds in backpack. He told me to share it with the brothers and sisters. Wow. Yeah. So I walked around with all the J's and give them out to people because I was on probation. I was like, yeah, well, I can't smoke. Doesn't mean y'all can't. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> Gotta get rid of it. So you hung out with these people while you were on probation? Yeah. What the were you on probation time? Freaking uh, some bullcrap burglary charge that I think I got while I was still going that freaking dragged out for years and years. Okay. Yep. I uh, was walking down the street and I seen this house and its heads, you know, it looked like the double glass sliding door was open. Mm-hmm. You know, and as a kid, I was like, oh, this is kind of, you know, I'm going to check this place out. It doesn't seem like anybody lives here. There's a dead raccoon in the living room, so I'm like, okay, nobody lives here. <laughs> you hold on. Yeah, I'm like this dead raccoon, I checked the fridge, you know, it's powers off, Ooh. check the cupboards, no food. I'm like, it's Obviously, an abandoned house. It's a dead vacuum in the living room. So I go get a bunch of friends and we come over and we're like chilling in the house, drinking freaking uh, yoohoos and shit. You know, we're all gangster fied. Drinking off- yoohoos, gangster fied. Yeah. Oh, okay. Two officers come walking in and we're just like, oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, that's usually frowned upon. Yeah. <laughs> At least we're not like drinking beer and like smoking cigarettes or anything. Uh, you know, yoohoos, beer, it's all the same. Yeah. <laughs> that's all gangsters use all the yoohoos all the time right? yeah, yeah 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 okay you use it that's straight gangster <laughs> <laughs> alright man hey listen I appreciate it alright uh, right. I don't have any more questions for you if I do can I reach out to you and talk to you yeah okay you gonna be at the house yes you know I'll be at their house and my house right. I don't go to the thing you need wow. Thanks for